So as we saw in example one, if I have one complex root, then I must have its conjugate as the other. So x equals three minus five i would be one root, and x equals three plus five i would be the other. So that implies that x minus three minus five i times x minus three plus five i are factors. So that means if these are my factors, my quadratic equation is gonna have this form where a is not equal to zero. So I could expand this and see that I'm gonna have the form x squared. So thinking about these two, because these are conjugate pairs, when I multiply them, I know at the end, I'm gonna have plus nine minus five i squared, sorry, 25 i squared. But of course, minus 25 i squared is gonna be the same as plus 25. In the middle, I'm gonna have negative three x minus five x i, and then negative three x plus five x i. So the imaginary terms disappear. So I'll have negative six x as my uh, center term or my x term. So all of my forms are going to have a x squared minus six x plus 34. And again, as long as a is not zero, this quadratic, no matter what a is, are gonna have these two imaginary roots or imaginary zeros.